Hey gang, Larry Vickers, Vickers Tactical Channel here, and today I have for you a pretty cool gun. HK MR223A3 and RAL8000, which is essentially the German or NATO flat dark earth. Now we did a similar gun to this back in the day. Now I've had so many compliments on this thing, I wanted to get it to you on the channel and make sure you could check it out. It's the civilian semi-automatic version of the HK416A5 assault rifle, select fire assault rifle. How does it differ? Well, obviously it's semi-automatic only. It is not select fire capable and it does not have the adjustable gas block up front that the A5 version of the 416 does. Other than that, it's an identical rifle. This particular one has an 11 inch barrel. They also make them with 14 and a half and 16 and a half. It's interesting how the early 416s, the short barrel was a, a 10.4 inch barrel and HK grew the barrel about 0.6 inches, standardized to the same gas block and gave themselves a little bit more dwell time for the gun to run. Up front, same style flash suppressor that you see on G36, G3, 417, a wide variety of weapons that HK fields. Folding front sight, all right, you can unbolt it on or off, but it's a folding full hood front sight, which HK is famous for. Up front, we have a handguard that's kind of unique to this particular weapon series. It's the H key handguard. Now what that is, pick a tinny rail top, pick a tinny rail bottom. Left and right side has the H key interface. Kind of looks like key mod, but it's different. It's HK's own proprietary mounting system. Known HK, I'm sure it's super strong. The problem is it's proprietary, so not a lot of aftermarket stuff bolts to it. All right, now move our way farther back. You have your upper and lower, which are essentially set up to be ambidextrous. Ambidextrous bolt release, ambidextrous mag catch, ambidextrous selector switch. Now, I was talking to some guys over in Germany, basically some SWAT guys down in Southern Germany, and they were telling me they run this particular weapon, but in the Select Fire 416A5 format, they deactivate the ambidextrous mag catch on the left-hand side, because when it lays up against their kit, they can accidentally drop the magazine, which of course is something you don't want to do. Can't say I'm really surprised. A lot of times the ambi stuff's cool, but when you actually use it, it's not as cool as you think it is. Charging handle is reversible, but not ambi, so you can set it up for left or right-handed use. Folding rear HK sight. Up top, of course, is the only optic that I would know of that would be suitable to go on this thing, is Aim Point's limited edition T2 flat darker Cerakote. And this is, you know, one of 1,000, long gone. This sold out a long time ago. And because of the cool color spectrum involved in terms of flat dark earth and the black, it fits in with this gun fantastic. You see HK's little pot belly trigger guard down here. And also they've been running a variety of pistol grips along the lines of the Bravo company pistol grips, which are a much straighter drop. Okay, very popular design now. Ambi sling loops right back here, an elongated castle nut. All right, so if you have the buttstock collapsed all the way and you accidentally drop it, it's going to support the buttstock more. Coming back farther, this is a much more slimline buttstock now that HK uses versus the earlier 416 family. Overall, really, really cool gun. Like I said, I get more compliments on this gun than about any other firearm I own, and mainly because it's so visually stunning. We're fixing to light it up for you for your enjoyment. We got S&B 223 on board. Stay tuned.
Hey, Larry Vickers here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Click here to subscribe to the Vickers Tactical Channel and take time out to check out some of our other favorite videos.